In today's video, we're going to be doing an in-depth review of the plugin UJAM Virtual Pianist. It is a plugin that's intended to help you create piano tracks if you are not a piano player. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to test and see if I can actually play this as an instrument since I am a piano player and so having a piano player in a VST isn't as captivating for me. However, if you are a piano player and you're watching this, you can also play it as an instrument. Let's jump into it. Brett Pontecorvo here from LiveKeyboardist.com, where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of sound design, with building a stable live keyboard setup, and with audio software. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so on the screen right now, you'll see I have UJAM open, and the interface is very intuitive. We've got a couple of different types of piano preset sounds at the top. For every preset, you can change the character, change if it's light or dark, and apply some effects. This is pretty run-of-the-mill. However, the way the bottom part works, I think, is quite brilliant. So, at the bottom, you can adjust how high or low the notes go, which is pretty cool. You can adjust the style, and these are kind of like MIDI presets, except they're a little bit more customizable, because depending on what you do, they will react differently. Now, at the bottom, we have keys that are meant to set intensity. So, C, D, and E are right-hand-only patterns. and F, G, and A are two-handed patterns, building an intensity. Now, the black keys haven't been forgotten about. This low one here will give you a bass note when you hit it, which is nice. This one will give you a right-hand chord when you hit it to add a bit of an accent. And the top three black keys are used as fills, and they know when to do the fill intuitively. So if I hold a chord, and press the key, it'll know where it goes. Very cool, very intuitive, and quite playable. Now, the piano preset sounds are very cool, um, and the preset sounds at the top are also linked to style, but of course you can change them later. So if I play a chord, you'll see the style changes as I change the piano sound, as do the effects. And you get pretty different results if you're setting the range. So these are some pretty serious piano sounds, piano tracks, but the question I have is, can I play it like an instrument while I'm playing something else? So to test that, I have a rack space set up in Gig Performer, and I'm going to show you how I have it and how this is working, and then we'll get to my recommendations and thoughts. So um, this rack space is very simple. Basically, all I have set up here is some widgets that are changing the intensity. So I can easily move through intensities. Just using a single button instead of uh, using the keys on my keyboard. It feels a little bit more intuitive to me. Then UJAM has the velocity and busyness assigned to the mod and pitch wheel, which is a little bit out of reach for my setup. So using a MIDI in block, I've mapped those parameters to these keys here. And then I've got the left and right range set up on these widgets and my latch and unlatch button here. So let's get started by picking a preset. I actually really like... Um, this uh, rag riff with the pop-o-matic sound. So let's get this style all set up. Okay, and here's just to give you an idea what that sounds like. Kind of just a cool thing. I really like the effects here, which you could certainly play with, but um, they did a good job, so you don't really need to play with them if you're not into that. Now, when I start to play here, I'll just kind of adjust the range a little bit and the intensity and perhaps the busyness. It feels like an instrument. Now on the top here, I've 
I've got uh, a mini V3 plugin and I just really like the way that it works and the way that it feels. So that's the one that I'm using to just kind of test my theory. So I'm going to turn latch on and to get started, I'm going to play some simple chords and kind of try and get in the groove of things by using the, the left and right range, the intensity, the velocity, and the busyness. So let's go ahead and start. feel pretty good and you can hear here as you adjust the range it really does do quite different things all right so if i were to start trying to think about playing this while i'm doing something else let's just hit the one chord here So it really does work as sort of a backing track and you can have a lot of fun with this. Now, a few other things that I would love to note is that you can indeed, when you open the plugin editor, drag these as MIDI files into uh, the DAW of your choosing. So if you're trying to build a track, this is a really great way um, to do it. I would encourage you to play with this like an instrument because you can really get into a flow and it is a ton of fun. So what I recommend this plugin under certain conditions, I absolutely would recommend this plugin. If you are trying to create piano tracks and you're not a piano player, this is an amazing option for you. It really does a good job. Um, if you are looking for just a piano sound, it's still pretty good, but there may be other options that give you a little bit more control for specifically playing. Um, so that is it. That's what's going on here. An easy way to support this channel is to purchase this plugin through the link in the description below. Thank you all so much for being here and I will see you next time.